Welcome back everyone to Kaiser Redux, I'm your host, Japanese Mr. Mocha Lover. And right now we're taking a look at China, and it's not exactly where we left off in the last video, but it's, I thought it would be close enough. Um, we're currently seeking a lot of convoys around here, especially Dutch and Spanish convoys. And we're struggling down here a little bit in China. Let's see, what do we have down here? We need 261 days to destroy China, basically. That's gonna suck. We've already controlled Beijing, but somewhat. And we're almost cut off here, which is not very good, no is it? Um, hmm. We are moving up this way. I hope they get over here as well, maybe. And circle to cut them off. So, for this episode, I think I want this one to be the last episode, realistically. So, what we're going to do, we'll try to beat the Chinese, and then we'll go to war with Russians, because the Russians deserve to die. And the Rock's back. Well, they're pretty much already given up. And I'm kind of glad I've already did a little bit more off-screen, just because there's a lot of lag off-screen. But I hope you guys are doing okay, as we're going to explore a little bit as to fight the Chinese a little bit. And my main goal is just encircle them. That's like the main goal here. Oh boy, that's a lot of soldiers. Uh, that's a case. Have you guys go down there instead? And you three just hold. You yeah, should be able to do this, so this way we can lag. Um, because these guys are breaking through, which is not good. But then maybe do that. That'd be great. Militia divisions, infantry is not too bad. As you can see, they're attacking it just a just a wee bit, just a wee bit. And we're doing fairly well against Yunnan. They don't have a lot of defenses down here in Yunnan, which is totally good for us. Even though we were close to actually losing these horses as well, but hey, they're looking okay. Because once we get the horses free, once we start like eliminating one of the warlords, it'll definitely get easier. And then once one of the warlords just dies, then it should just be able to, like a domino effect. We should just be able to crush them after that, so. I'll help. Go on down here. Kill them off, kill them off, kill them off. That'd be good. That'd be very, 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 very good. And these guys are completely surrounded. Please do not lose any more. Hold, hold, hold. There you go, there you go. Hold as well. And get ready to advance some more. Datong looks pretty darn risky. Especially fighting over a river. Not very good. But we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. We don't have a massive air force, but we're doing the best we can with what we've got. Uh, you guys, honestly, you might just be able to go crazy here. Yeah, you sh might be able to go crazy. Because we lost Shantou again. Because I want to get through this area. Maybe get to Xiaoguan. I think that'd be pretty darn good to do that. Um, yeah. You might actually be able to capitulate these guys if we can do that. Kuming would be really nice to get as well. Could you stop attacking me, man? No. Stop attacking me. I'm going to attack you instead. There we go. Get over here. Get some more supply through here. Collapse of the Reich's Pact. The Kaiserreich is about to fall. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Um, Well, we've taken all the capital cities here. So, what, what, what group is this? Hmm. I guess Slovakia wants a non aggression back, huh? Yep, and this is the lag I'm talking about, but it's actually not nearly as bad as it was once, what it once was. Nope. And let's see, more divisions are nice. Realistically, you guys are doing okay. Actually, you might be able to break through here. Huh. Yeah, you actually might be able to, if you're strong enough. Yeah, you might be able to do okay. Marines, we're still down here because there's a lot of enemies down there, which sucks. But oh well. Uh, let's see. Okay, what? Seriously, who's down here? The federal government? Are they not capitulated? Yeah. How are you not capitulated yet? We took all your victory points. That's just kind of dumb, but okay. All right then. At least we got Sean too. That's kind of nice. We do need more divisions down here. And the lag comes back with even more German Empire. Goes goodbye bye. Yay! Goodbye German Empire. Goodbye. Yeah, we just need more divisions. It's not very good now, is it? Kuming, I can't imagine. The fall of Germany, the end of an era. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Ooh, yes, more artillery, please. I can't imagine that they'd have a large stockpile in China, but I could be very wrong about that. But more artillery is very nice. That's a case. Hmm. It says, you guys, if you did a general attack, you could probably win. Is that true? Somewhat, somewhat not. Now, if you attacked with these guys, then you might be able to win there. Then you might be able to win here as well. Where are the enemies? Oh, they're fine. That took a while to do. They didn't have that much equipment, though, which is okay, but still. Keep moving, keep moving. I want you guys to get there. There was Wu's Hao. Macau would be nice to get as well. Um, if you guys could. Nope, oh, you can't do Jack Squad, huh? You're too weak. Alright, yep, if we get there, we're gonna circle another division, that'd be pretty nice. Come on, move, 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 horses, come on, move. God, I hate this lag so much, this is my big, one of my biggest gripes with, just, not even just Kaiser Reich or Kaiser Redux, 
Just Hoi Fire in general. The engine could be improved. But, you know what? We'll have to wait to Hoi Fire for that. Oh, uh, God. Logistics Wizard is super, super important. Also, I'm, we are doing a new focus that I'm not ready yet. So, let's go ahead and read about that one, shall we? The fighter focus, which is not too much. So, control the air means control the world. We will keep our fighters up to date to maintain our air superiority. Really not much, as you can tell, but that's okay. Sometimes you don't need a lot to tell the story. Hopefully you guys can do it relatively well. Beat the crap out of these guys. Get through Ma Cleek, which is going to take oh so long. Oh, so long. Why are you not one down here yet? It's only a single division. Mm, Jinan would be very nice to get. Very, very nice. Anything around here? Yeah, actually you might be able to do very, very well right here as well. Move in, move in. Help him out. Cool. Yeah, just just shatter them. The Chinese divisions by themselves, when China's divided like this, they're not extremely weak, but they're not like extremely strong, as you can tell. Uh, help them out here. Huh. They can all go in there, huh? That's unfortunate. But that's okay. Uh, let's take a look at the casualties. 2.61 million is not bad. Beijing government's got to go, which is not very good that they still exist. That's all right, though. Anything else? No. Nothing else here, really. We can get more war support. We don't really need more war support. Do we need more upgrades? Hopefully, yes. Infantry experts, very good. Any more other upgrades? Nope. And probably nope. Oh, wait. Yes, yes, yes. Marines, nothing. And Mr. Specialist, go with Charismatic. Very good. Very good. Well, we are pushing through a little bit in certain different places. All right, so for you guys, I'm just going to tell you guys it goes well, maybe. You might, you should be able to do pretty darn well down here. Well, you'd hope so, but sometimes these people fail so hard. In the meantime, let's grab some more reports. I think that'd be very, very beneficial. We're slowly breaking through on... No, no, this is Shandong. Shand, uh, Shandong Clique. If these guys fall... They don't have a lot of divisions over here, but it would definitely help. So, my goodness, this is a mess. Oh, guys, you've got to win now. Guys, go in, go... What do you mean? Oh wait, the Portuguese em Wait, hold on. Portuguese Empire. Oh, the Fang Xin government. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Why are they not in our faction? First of all, they're not in our faction. And secondly, we can't attack from there, so that's a complete waste of time. So, why? I'm not sure if I really agree with that at all. I'm pretty sure I don't agree with that. Because now they're going to come and circle us, which is going to be complete crap. Eh. So be it. We're struggling down here, but we're, we're doing relatively okay around here as well. Oh, take the ports. Good job, guys. We got the ports. Cut them off. 1v1, we're doing okay. Yeah, it's going to be costing us a lot of stuff. Armored cars, especially support equipment, which I did throw on some more support equipment because we have got plenty of guns for now. For now, but we'll see. I don't I don't understand this. I, why is Fang Shun government not in our faction? Like, it, it makes zero sense. Because we need to move, be, need to be able to move in their territories. So, and they should be our puppet, technically, right? I mean, I can't build in their territories, which I completely disagree with. We should be able to build in their territory. Oh, get down here, too. Nice. Come on, come on. Uh, you guys go up here. There you go. Fighter focus, and we'll do some air doctrines. No air force, no matter how large or modern, is more efficient than its tactics allowed to be. Good. That, part of this is just, like, delaying what's going on here. Well, my goal is to get to Jinan as fast as possible, capitulate them, and keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Because the Beijing government is going to suck to take out, but that's all right. Oh, we must have lost the cavalry division. That sucks. If they get that stuff back, get stay right here. Hold and stay. Get out. Get out. Shandong is lost. That's okay. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Well, you just killed yourself. There you go. Good job, guys. You just killed yourself. Get back. And you guys, you gotta stop attacking because there's just too many divisions down here. Uh, a solid line. Oh, we'll go from here. There you go. Anything for Muto? Expert, expert good. Because the North. Oh, look at that. That is so good. Look at that. Oh, it's so tasty. So tasty. Yum, 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 yum. Fortunately, no cop here right now because I already finished it off camera, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, oh, anyone here? Yes, yes. Beat them up, beat the crap out of them, because they don't deserve to live. Jinan will fall. All these other soldiers will fall as well, which will be a great, great, great thing. Shandong Clique is gone. And so are their soldiers. That now makes it much easier for us. Nope. Not bad. Just don't lose all the horse divisions, that'd be 
like really important. <laughs> Good. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill, 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 kill. Go, 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 go. They go to the kingdom of Burma. Oh, Burmese subservience. I kind of like that. And I will grab some carrier battle groups just because. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. And they're overrun. Good. Now go to your front lines. Now we're pushing. Holy. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They got a lot of ton of manpower because it's China. All these groups have lots of man. Well, maybe not McLeague. Beijing government's got a lot. Uh. Ooh. Supply. Oh, they're out of guns. These guys have up to 67 divisions. Got 56,000 guns max. So. You know what? It doesn't matter if they if they leave literally Nanjing open. Union of Hanover. Oh God, Germany's split up, isn't it? Oh, we took Nanjing. Uh, oh boy, it'd be, it'd be a shame if uh we did some bad stuff to there. When it's selected, we'll grow as we deep push into China. We get more war support. That oh, well, that's not selected then. I don't want more resistance, please. That's not very good for us. Get some more cap though. That's nice, right? You guys are down south, and you're holding, which is good. I don't want to attack. I want to finish on Ching Cleek first. ZMM, what are you guys do? What are you guys doing down there? Uh, I'd, I'd recommend holding ZMM because uh, yeah. Oops, let's come back over here and shoot the force. Air superiority is the way to go. But we need to raise the conscription level too, so. The Burmese are losing ground. Oh, we got the clique. We got the clique. Look at Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, this is a massive mess. Oh, come on, game. No, 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 no. I'm holding the right click down. Then we do that. See, that's how we do it. That's very, very nice. Very nice. Oh, you're still down here too. Um, go there. Go there. God dang, I hate the stupid government. Ugh, why? Why did the devs think it was okay to not have Feng Jin in, the, in your faction? Why? Who designed that? I can't even get, like, the, the land. Why did they get the land? Oh, I should just kill them off when I had the chance. I don't like this. I really don't like that. Why? It just makes everything more difficult. It makes it unnecessarily difficult. Could you guys win here, maybe? Could you, yeah, you might have some victories here and there. Maybe not a lot, but that's alright. Oh, you guys are not... Oh, maybe I didn't give you, give you guys orders. There you go. Three, two, get slightly some planning, go. Oh, look, the, there goes the Dutch. Okay, good job, Dutch. You guys will go from here to there. Please don't tell me we didn't get encircled somewhere, right? Alright, it's good. Go. Everyone just go. With their superiority, hopefully we can do okay. Oh, it would be great if we could go right there. And circle and destroy them. That'd be so nice. Nanping? Oh, that sucks. Alright, not bad, not bad. Yes. We'll get some support equipment. Nope, nope, nope. We're halfway through, which is not bad, but as like I said, as, we, as long as we speed up a little bit more and more and more and more and more. We should do relatively okay. Oh, yeah. And we should have complete aerial dominance. Hold on. We got we can't let these guys live. Good. Good. That's all you need for that. Uh, you guys are hitting Ningbo, which is good. Beijing government. They should be out of guns, though, right? They really should be, right? We gotta just keep up the attack. Especially down here. And force on the, focus on the south and center, so... God, this is such a gigantic mess. Keep going, Tanaka. I think last episode he didn't do so well in Singapore. Or Southeast Asia, but... Right now we're doing relatively okay. I can't imagine these guys can keep it up. Harmony Association. Oh, they have no guns. But then again, we probably don't have a lot of guns. Where are the guns? Oh, never mind. We got 100,000 guns. Okay. Uh, oh, the bar to economy finally fell apart. That's not good for you guys. Or someone like yes. Please go enter. Oh, can we please capitulate Yunnan? Oh, that'd be so nice if we could. Please let us capitulate Yunnan. Go, go, go. Any other ships? Ooh, oh, look at that. We got uh, basically another task force. Great. Look at that. Nice. And a sub, eh? Well, we've lost a lot of those things. 
So, yeah, go right ahead, guys. You're doing a fairly okay job. Oh, we got you, Donkleek. They're gone. Oh, Burma is coming out, as well as uh, Siam. Or Thailand, or whatever we call them. Nice. The next nation has fallen. Very good. Not aggression pack change. Don't really care. Look at all those convoys sunk. Oh, we, we, we got... Oh, oh. Wow, that was a lot faster than I thought would happen. Nice. Cut them off, cut them off, cut them off, cut them off. Do not let them go. Do not let them live. And they're dead. All right. The Chinese United Fund is falling apart. You United, the Hunan clique, Sichuan clique, and Ma clique. There's a lot of cliques here. Cool. And then we'll do some Samurai of the Skies. I like this one. Japanese fighter pilots training is some of the most difficult in the world, but is that way for a very good reason. Our planes are fast, the ground crew is skilled, and our commander is smart, but nothing is more important than the courage and talent of the individual pilots. Which I like that, but it sounds like it's very difficult for the training, in which it seems like we should have a debuff for like maybe minus 1% recruitable population factor, maybe? I don't know. Just something like... If it's if it's really rigorous... Hey, don't get me wrong. I like the buff for plus 10% more air attack. But if it's that difficult, I don't know. Maybe there should have been some sort of other compromise or something. So, I don't, I don't know. Maybe. But we just need these other nations. Just a few more nations to kill them off. Cut these guys off. Cut them all off. Oh, we lost another horse division. That sucks. All right. That's, if that's the case, come, come back over here. Oh, good. Chongqing. Oh, that'd be really nice. The Sijuan clique. I doubt they'll die if we do that, but you never know. All right. So, how... Because we are... Oh! Conquer China's done! And there goes the Kingdom of Spain. Yeah, we definitely gotta raise our conscription level next. Holy cow. Come on, take them out. Let's air superiority like. Not bad in the south. I don't see a lot of planes, though. Um, yeah, they're doing some damage there. That's kind of nice. Uh, what are you guys doing? You're not doing anything, huh? Uh, we'll give you to this group here, maybe. Help out, help out. Maybe we can get a circle to this. As long as we get down there, that's the most important thing. Uh, Marines, throw you back over here. Go. The Marines should be able to do this pretty easily. Go. Force it. Oh, we got Chongqing. We need Chengdu. Yes, please. Thank you. This is a giant mess. We need Chengdei. Knights will attack. More land. Oh, well, that's pretty good. That's that's a good amount of land at attack. Let's grab traditional containment, which would be very, very nice. Convoas. Convoas. Thank you very much. Oh, the Delhi government's fighting us now, too. Oh, screw you guys. Bunch of Western imperialists. Why are you not moving up? This is such a mess. Holy cow. Please get over there. Jing's who? Oh, if that could capitulate them. Doxion? Doxion? I, 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 I... You can tell I don't know how to pronounce these words, but that's okay. That's okay. We're really running out of manpower like crazy. Holy crud. Um, maybe we'll stop doing this as much. That should save us a little bit more manpower. Just a tiny little bit. Oh, it's looking... Okay, Denmark, I was hoping that would be another Chinese group, but whatever. Uh, I'm sure our losses are very, very high right now, but it doesn't really matter right now. We've lost about three-quarters of a million. Fall of Gibraltar, please, can someone else die here instead of us? Oh, crap. Can we take one of these groups out? Come on. Fall of Lisbon? I don't care about Lisbon. I care about China. Oh, there goes the Portuguese Empire. That's good, I guess. Chang date seizure of Macau with the collapse of the Portuguese colonial empire. The port and naval base of Macau has become open to us. A small detachment could easily seize it as a base for us in South China. All right, sounds good to me. More naval support. Um, can you guys just, just go to Chengdu, guys? Just come on, let's go to Chengdu. You us, you and us. They might have some really good food down there. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Never been. Probably never go. But you never know. Oh, we cut these guys off. That's good. All right, this is extremely bloody. This is really extremely inefficient. But whatever. Oh, it's, it's 1943. Happy 1943, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. I wouldn't want to be in China right now, but that's why I'm telling my generals to be in China. How many divisions are we fighting? 
Eight. Nice. Good. Kill them off. I hope our generals are learning, learning a whole lot. See, like I said, it's a domino effect. Good. Once, once one starts falling, then the other starts falling, and then it just... Then they all fall, which is great. All right, who's the left? Yunnan clique, Ma clique. Well, Ma clique is starting to fall quite a bit, so which is very nice. Help them out, help them out, take them out. The road might be a little bit open, maybe. Not too open, but a little bit, potentially. Come on, where are my horses? What are you doing? Where, what are we missing here? Oh, artillery, good. Better artillery, that's nice. Oh, we're out of manpower. That's, that's really not nice. We need way more support equipment now. Um, do that, and then do that. Oh, look at these guys. They're all oh, the Zealand military. Who, we were from the Zealand military government? Huh. Okay. Whatever. Malta's gone. Okay, Russia's getting really strong. I still want to kill off the Russians. I don't know how many divisions this is, so if you like to read about how many divisions this actually is, I'm going to say it's like 15. So, nice. Kill them. Every single one of them must die. They asked for it. And then Divine Wind. Oh, look at that. More air experience gain, as well as we can use Kamikaze pilots. As the Imperial rescript to soldiers and sailors states, Duty is as heavy as a mountain. Death is lighter than a feather. The period of youth will usher in the Divine Wind. Very nice. These guys should be falling apart. Hunan Click is gone. We love it. Uh, victory of the Dominion. Uh, Hayashi Senjiro is dead. Today a member of the Centrals and a general of army has Senjiro has died. Appoint Tojo Hideki. Hideki. Mm, the army speaking. They're pretty much the same. Old general. Let's go Tojo. Seems a little bit more historical for us, so we're going to choose him. Put you guys over here just in case. Good job, guys. We're going to need you guys here to help us take these guys out, like, here-ish, maybe, so we can just keep moving in a little bit more quickly. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Uh, sure, why not? I re I don't like this. You know what? Screw Feng Shan. They don't deserve jack squat. I'm taking all this for myself, probably. Just because, like, I don't want to deal with this later on. Like, for realsies, we did most of this. Without us, these guys wouldn't have been able to do anything. But let's go ahead and raise a conscription level to extensive conscription finally. Strict pilot training, very nice. Good. Force the attack. We don't want to mess around here anymore. We're done messing around. Assembly on production levels, very nice. Let's grab some construction speed. Because we like building things. Oh, building lots and lots of things. Civvies, sure, why not? Four civvies. More oilies. Some maybe some more dockyards, maybe? And then some military factories. Lots and lots and lots of military factories. You know what? I never build this, but what if we build silos? Not worth much, I think. I never build them. I don't really see a... Hmm. I guess there is a reason to build them, but I never use them. So these guys should go bye-bye very, 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 very soon. Where's the capital? There it is. Oh, Philippines, yes! We'll take some motorized. I guess we're out of trucks. That's not good. Then again, this is China, so what do you expect? I was going to just do a lot of this off-screen, but I guess we didn't need to. Very cool. So we've lost about, let's say, 900,000. Versus 4.31 million. Not bad. Really, not bad. I still don't trust these guys, but let's have you guys kind of come back over here. In case the Feng Shen government does some cruddy stuff to us. I guess we still have to kill all th these people too, so that kind of sucks. But whatever. Do we take it? I can't tell. Probably not. Oh, these guys got a circle. That's pretty nice. Oh, poor Somalia's gone. Poor, poor Somalia. Yeah, these guys got to die. I can't imagine they'd have too much supplies here. Undersea blockade's gone. They're out of manpower, so... Oh, 200,000 manpower. Nice. Good stuff. Better sub stuff? Yes, please. Oh, that's not bad. Masters of China. We got encircled, huh? Screw these people.
I will send you guys down here because it looks like we're starting to lose slowly here, so that's not good. That's not good. Uruguay's gone. Advanced artillery, very good. Let's grab some more output, perhaps. Thank you. And advanced cruisers. Oh, look at all this stuff. Nice. I forgot we even had this stuff. And grab a tiny bit of armor. Awesome. You done. Cool. And then advanced cruiser hull. So you guys are done too. Alright, what do we got down here? Radar, cruiser engines, that's good. Level 3, anti-air 3. Still, we're on level 2s, which is totally fine, whatever. We're not here to have... These ships are not here to do damage. They're here to, I guess, blow up subs. Uh, you know, do some anti-air stuff. I think that's okay. I think that's actually pretty good. That's what they're here for. They're here to protect and screen the ships. Screen, 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 screen. Okay, we got Costa Rica. I'm not sure why, but whatever. I don't think Costa Rica is that valuable in this campaign, but they can have it. So, are these guys going to give up or what? It looks like we've done pretty darn well down here. Not going to lie. Ah, there we go. Cool. I could give stuff to Feng Chan, but let's just take everything and see what happens first. Shall we? We shall. Just because without us, I mean, the Feng Shin, I mean, they were fighting the Beijing government for like 16,000 years, so. Close to 16,000. Uh, but a lot of the comments from the last video were uh, very supportive, I'd say. Very, very supportive. So I appreciate your uh, support, everyone. If you're still watching, especially if you're still watching this part of the video. Um, it does help me out, like, when making videos. Like, I make so many videos, and sometimes it can get a little drawn out for me, so. I do appreciate you guys watching. I really do appreciate it, so. I just want to let you know my thoughts. Alright, so do we get an event for this? We probably... Oh, wait. Did, oh, we probably took the stability hit when we didn't release into China. Oh, well. Okay, the fate of China. After a long and far-out campaign in the vast expanses of China, we finally achieved a historic victory. Now that we've won the war, we must decide how to best secure peace. How should we best about go of managing the Chinese lands we've conquered? That's a good question. Fruits of loyalty or plant the soccer of plant? Uh, the government of Zhang Zulin has been our main ally in China for many years, and supporting him in his quest to unify China has been our goal and the reason for this war. It is therefore imperative that we turn over all the land we have taken that he claims is our core part of China. Ooh. You know, I guess we'll do that one. Even though I don't really want to do it, I guess we'll do it anyways, just because, I don't know, I, I feel like that. That they might be able to be trustworthy in which we do that. If he does that, then I'm not, I'm not going to fight him, but whatever. Uh, let's see... Can you guys actually win here? I don't think you guys can. Yeah, I don't think you guys actually can. 55, 56. Well, some places you can, can. If you're failing, probably want to stop. Just stop failing. Then again, part of this, we're not even trying stuff down here. Uh, yeah, it's probably good for us to economically take them over. Let's go do that. Do that. Build up the roads here too as well. That'd be good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. But I do want to see what we can do with that focus first, and then maybe we'll fade and fade out. Oh, what, how was... Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, the coming to France has done very well. I thought the third international lost. But I guess not. So, this is literally the east... Wow, this is literally a cold war. So, all of... This is literally an iron curtain around here. German Union is not, not looking too bad. Oh, uh, why did you do this? Why did you just take this, guys? Oh, it's a mess. Hold on, Luxembourg exists. I don't like that. I don't. I really don't like that. Oh, I completely forgot about the Marines. They're doing a great job. Look at that. It's so good. So good. So good. I love the Marines. It's by the promoted. Very nice. Look at that manpower too. I'm fight the Empire of Brazil. I'm not gonna fight the Empire of Brazil. If they want to fight our ships. Go right ahead. You're not. They're not gonna win. And let's get to this focus first, which is very, very, uh, almost done. We'll put it like that. Good. We got a very good navy too. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what happens. Oh, they're attacking us. Nice. Okay, so they got the stuff, which is fine. Proclaim victory over imperialism. Uh, huh. We have to be at peace for this. 
The Rising Sun. If I can do this, I'll probably do this off screen sometime, so finally victory is in our grasp. Japan is the undisputed master of all of East Asia. We put our rivals into their place and drove off the Europeans from what is rightfully ours. The home islands are the humming center of Asian economy. When the tiger roars, the world trembles. So, I don't like the idea that Hawaii uh, has to be owned by us or an ally. I really don't think that's smart, because th there's too many options for Hawaii to be at fighting with us. So, I don't like that. As well as be at peace... Mm, if there's an event, I, th I think that would be okay, as long as there's an event, the piecing us out of the Entente, especially after you take Australasia, and, like, especially if, like, fr the French state falls, now obviously they haven't yet, but it make doesn't make any sense, if Australasia falls, and Japan controls, like, 90% of all territory here, which we don't control quite 90% because the Dutch East Indies are still here, but I think that there should be some overriding bylines for this, so, being at peace might be a bit too much. I mean, unless there's an event, of course. But, target India. India is a power that lies in its wings. And one with enough manpower to tip the scales should we let them exist outside of control for too long. We must act to subjugate them and quickly, which is very, very good. Which we're kind of already trying to do right now. I don't want to cause too many supply issues down here. I really think that would be very, 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 very bad. Siam, why can't we do Burma yet? Uh, less than. Oh, they'd be doing well. They'd be doing better than that. Okay. Um, you want to help out here? There you go. I can't imagine that these guys would have a lot of guns. There's a lot of resistance they have. So it's just India's office core. They have, of course, India has a, just so many people here. But, it doesn't mean they're strong. Can you guys actually win here? If you concentrate your lines, you might be able to not do okay. Okay. Bangshin government, they got a lot of resistance from Beijing to Bagonia Leaf. Well, we gave them all this territory. Hopefully, they'll appreciate it and not rebel against us. Alright, you're sucking. You're sucking a hard, fat one right now, so. Uh, but seriously, like, if the Burmese can hold the line, we're going to just concentrate our guys right here or something. Supply. Why is supply so bad? Um, maybe we could build up some more naval ports around nowhere? Okay. Okay, that was a mistake giving Feng Jin all this territory. It was a tremendous mistake. Oh my goodness. If I knew that it was going to be this bad, I would not have allowed this to happen. Counterattack. Oh, we're going to break through. Hopefully we can win. I'm going to ignore that for now. I want to go to... Oh, a proposal from the Russian Democratic Federal Republic. The Russian government has set us a treaty proposal. They want to sign a non-aggression pact and a trade treaty with us in order to avoid war. However, in exchange for the Asterisk Sakhalin, a large island, however, populated by Russians. Pfft, go suck a fat one, you piece of garbage. We want Transmir back. You can go literally suck a fat one. I'm coming back for the territory here. Somehow, some way. You know what? I might just use Khan's commands and like force these guys to be in our faction. Because I'm not going to deal with this. Why are they not in my faction? Oh, wow. The Russians wanted war. Big flipping deal, you sons of guns. Um, yeah, I don't know. I do not understand why. That this is not within our faction. This, this is probably one of the most game-breaking things for Japan. Like, I get it. They're basically our puppet, aren't they? Like, they should basically be our puppet. And Russia wants war. They can have war. They want so much war that they can't win. Alright, I'm good. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'll both of you do that anyways. And then do some of that. Oh, oh. No, you guys are doing quite well. Do that, do that. Good. And do that. You can probably start pulling out of here maybe a little bit. Maybe out of here as well. And so you do that as well. Thank you very much. We got a lot of regions to cover. We really do. Hmm. There you go. So, uh, from here on out, though, I'm not really sure what else we can do about this too much. But I'm going to play a little bit more off screen. So, in that time, what we're going to do, proclaim victory over them, I'm going to read a couple more focuses, and we'll, I'll do these off screen as we will hopefully, or I will force the Fangshin government to join our faction, basically. And, because I think that's game-breaking for Japan. But, amphibious focus. The Kaigun, Toku, Betsu, Riku, Sentai are some of the most well-trained, hardened, and loyal troops in the world. German, Dutch, Chinese, and hard, anyone else who dares to stand in their way without a doubt will end up on, riding on a beach. Or on their beaches, naval bombers. Some of the staff on the IJNAS claim that the upcoming battles of the sea will not be won in the waves, but in the clouds. We should listen to them. Ships are much more expensive than planes, after all. And carry effort. With highly modern naval bombers, Naval bombers at our disposal, we need to supply them with mobile air bases in the form of aircraft carriers. 
the able to auction. It's no fleet, no matter how large or modern, is more efficient than its tactics allowed to be. Our glorious victory at Tsushima stands testament to this. And Rick and North. Rick and North is the codename for the soon to be established key facility in our Nigo project project, located in Fukushima Prefecture. The NIGO project is a top secret endeavor in atomic research, aiming at separating uranium-235 by thermal diffusion. Other facilities taking part in this project are the Tokyo Riken Complex and in Konan, Northern Korea. Northern Korea. And science, a rocket science. Rocket developments can not only provide with rock, rocket weaponry, but even then, the scientists theorize with rocket engines for high-speed travel. Bombers? Japanese air power should be feared as, in few, or as feared as a bomber pilots. With those modern planes at our disposal, no nation or army can withstand us, as well as paratroopers. Riku Sentai are like so many cherry blossoms floating on the air. The risks paratroopers face are severe as they drift to the ground in full view of the enemy, but, thorough, but through thorough training and unwavering spirit, we will make these soldiers unstoppable. In addition, we will do all the stuff down here as well. Quantum integration, hopefully. Maybe, maybe not. Although the Quantum Lease Territory was only officially granted to Japan for a period of 99 years, the city of Dairen and its surroundings make an excellent destination for Japanese settlers. The government has every reason to provide further incentives, including increasing emigration. Uh, let's see. Japanese Hawaiians make up a large portion of the population of, the, of that island chain, and as a result, Japanese is already a common language in schools and homes. It should be a relatively smooth transition to ensure that the upper classes are Japanese too, and thereby turn the place into proper prefectures. Taiwan integration. Taiwan, the richest, most prosperous colony in the empire, promises limitless bounty to those that settle there. Longer model colony, it's time to put the final funding to integrate, fully integrate Taiwan into our empire and Chosen integration. The closest colony to the home islands, Chosen, has been long the aim of economic and cultural simulation efforts. This is not complete, however, and with additional funding and expanded Japanese settlement, it'll be possible to fully integrate Chosen, and I'll see you when we have hopefully beaten India as well as Russia. And here we are on July 16th, 1946, in which... This is the world that we have right now. So, I played this for about three hours off screen, and I want to get this out of the way first. Uh, this is probably the last time I'm, for quite a long time, uh, I'm going to be doing, like, really, like, late game campaigns. Because, my goodness, it just took three hours to just get from the point where we just faded out to fade in. It just took too long. But, as you can see, the Entente's go gone as well. Or at least, America, America, the United States, fought the Entente and took out Canada, which is actually really good for us. Um, so, we've... Quebec, we've got the Canadian Republic, which is Teresa Cascarine. Okay, they're American puppet. You guys, Major James, Major James Caldwell. When'd you get here? You're from. You, um, uh, I think the PS. Yeah, the PSA United America. Uh, okay, but other than that, third international. Like they went to war with Russia eventually too. So, I gave them a, a lot of European states. Not all of the European states, just because they didn't do that much. They they did help us take out some of the enemies there. Uh, but this is what we ended up with. As you can see, this is basically almost like, almost a TNO situation in terms of factions. Like, we have Australasia and New Zealand. We pretty much have all of Asia underneath us. Except for, like, these little Indian states in Afghanistan, which we'll probably... If we would continue, we would take these guys out. Persia's under us, and I, I didn't want Kurdistan. I don't believe in Kurdistan here in this campaign, so we gave it to Persia as well as Iraq. Uh, I guess we have own part of Turkey, which doesn't make any sense. But then again, Russia still owns Bursa, Adrianople. But the Flemish Communal Republic owns Constantinople, apparently. Don't ask me. And then uh, the Communist of France still owns this part. They actually released Russia under Maria Sperdinova. Which, I'm not sure how I feel about that. And then we have our European holdings here. And then we have Siberia here. Led by Alexei and Grishin Almazov. But I figured, you know what? Screw it. Transmuter, we had we had the option to release him as a puppet, but I said no, because last time they rebelled against us. And look at our handsome guy here, but um, yeah, I said no, Transmuter, you can go suck a fat one. You rebelled against us, and then you became you went under Russia or became part of Russia. So like, you know, no direct rule from Tokyo. And then actually, uh, I, I should have shown you the decision. I didn't actually even use Khan's commands to get the reformed government of China under us. So with the Vengshin government, apparently there's an event where you could either like help one of the Generals become leader and kill, I think, Zhang Zulin. And there's a risk that he pro they would probably go to war with us if, they, if, it, if uh, we had lost the uh, chance to do so or try to do it and failed to assassinate Zhang Zulin. But it worked out for us in the end. And then Yang Yuting came into power. And uh, they're not a puppet, but they're in the co prosperity sphere. So pretty nice. But unfortunately, for some reason, like the Antan's dead. We should technically be at peace, I guess. Ah. <sighs> I don't want to fight the Andean Pact or these guys down here, so I'm not going to do that. So, but like I said, I'm done fighting late game wars. It just it just dragged on for too long, and I can't get to other campaigns if it just if Kaiserreich decides to lag way too hard because it's not the devs' fault. It's Hoi Four, Hoi Four, or just Hearts of Iron in general. It needs a new engine. It really does. 
It, it could be so much faster if Paradox could actually, you know, figure out how to develop a new engine. But regardless, uh, that's going to be it for us in this campaign. It was fun. I definitely just wasn't planning on playing Japan earlier on, like even before this campaign started. But you know what? Here we are, and we finished the campaign. Looking pretty good. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.